In this video, I'm going to show you how to make animations with a render farm that is a thousand times faster and easier than you think. I'm going to show you how I did just this animation. And for that, I'm going to show you the step by step of how to do it. Just here I have opened my 3DS Max scene where I already animated a camera. I'm going to give it play. And for you to see just how the animation is a camera moving back and forth, a dolly motion, that's all, where I wanted to animate 144 frames. Which would be equivalent to 6 seconds of animation. The main thing is simply in time configuration of our Threads Max is to put 24 FPS and here in end time I put the duration of 6 seconds which is equivalent to these frames. Then for example if I wanted to start rendering all I have to do is go to the render setup the Threads Max settings and here I can set both the resolution which is 1080 for 1920 pixels in height for formats for TikTok, Instagram, Reels, etc. And in scene 5% in noise level limit which is pretty good with a Corona high quality amount 1 and in radius 1. And something very important is that our 3 Max simply comes in single to render a single image. I want to render 144 images or I can do the ranges but I'm just going to set it to the second option and I'm going to mark where I'm going to save these 144 renders. If I go a little bit further down here I have render output. Usually it will appear without anything. I'm going to click on save file and under files. I'm going to put a folder. I, for example, inside my computer, I put in a folder, Rebus Farm Mockup, that is going to be the render farm that we will be using, and I put Final Mockup as JPG. Save. And here I am going to show you how long it would take if I did just this render in my computer without using render farms. And that's it. For example, just each render for this scene, which I chose a scene to light, takes 3 minutes and 44 seconds approximately. I want you to see here the folder. I already have this render with its respective render elements. So well that doesn't matter but what really matters to me is that you see right here that the estimated time is going to last longer. That is the estimate. It is 9 hours. 9 hours to make 145 renders. I'm going to hit cancel. I'm not interested. We're going to do it now with Rebus Farm. And if anybody doesn't know what Rebus Farm or a Render Farm is, basically it's you pay a certain amount to render just these renders for you on other computers via, well yes, via internet. So that you simply don't have to wait these 9 hours. And for example, for those who don't know what Rebus Farm is, it is the Render Farm that we are using. Where simply instead of taking us 9 hours, we are going to upload it to their platform so that it renders in, well, 10% of the 9 hours. And something good that Rebus Farm has is that they give you for simply creating an account $27 to try their services which are really very good. But before that we have to have Rebus Farm installed in our Threads Max. If you see here in Threads Max, here I have just this Rebus Farm tab. How do I do it? I simply go to Threads Software, I choose the rendering engine that I use on that occasion is Threads Max. And basically in the part of here I am going to give him in download software. You don't have to do much more, just do this and that's it, you will have it installed. Just in your Threads Max. So what do I have to do to send the Rebus farm? Simply once you have verified that the camera is selected, the noise level the active time segment, the pixels and where it is going to be saved. I will simply click on Rebus Farm and Render Now. Wait a few seconds and here you simply have to confirm some things, for example the number of passes or the number of noise level, 
I'm going to set it to 100 passes. Okay. And here basically the camera is already chosen. You can choose it right here if you have more than one camera. And I'm going to click on Center Ribas Farm. Wait a few seconds while the textures, lighting files and so on start uploading to the Rebus Farm Cloud. Where do I see this? Just here I get a warning where if I click on... Here for example, in that we have the Rebus Farm logo. And here in Render Job, I want you to see how all our file is being uploaded to the cloud to start rendering. To start rendering... And here the question for many would be, how much does it cost me? How much is it going to cost me to get these 144 renders to save me 9 hours? I'm going to show you just that Rebus Farm has a cost calculator to give you something approximate based on the components of your computer. But first I would like to invite you to our totally free online event, March Render Fest where I will be teaching you just the three keys to make rendering a business of more than a thousand dollars a month at least. Just here in the description of the video I'll leave you the registration link and there are very very few days left so hurry up because it is a really special event where you will learn a lot. And here while it is uploaded, which is basically already uploaded, I am going to click on cost calculator. It's opening up the page for me. I'm just going to put it up here. Where you basically have to fill in a few things. For example, how do you render? This time I use Corona. I render by CPU. It's not Vray. It's Corona. I want an animation. I don't want a static image. A render. How many frames? 144 5 minutes. Here it takes 4 minutes. That's what we just saw. And basically in my workstation we can put the processor, the model, the type, the type and the other information. And here I want you to see how basically gives me here an approximate cost of just the 9 hours that I was telling you. Rebus Farm calculates it very well here where simply of those 9.77, here we have 0.07 hours, which would already be minutes. Exaggerated, isn't it? The amount 12 render points is equivalent to practically 12 euros. Really something very, very cheap. So as not to wait for these 9 hours, really if you want a quick and easy job to start working on other jobs you have, well, if you want a quick and easy job to start working on others, other jobs that you have, well, it works great. Now, for example, once it is the cost, how do I know or where do I have to put it to get the animations? Because here in the folder where I set to save, I have absolutely nothing. What am I going to do? Basically, here I have my Rebus Farm panel where I basically already have the file uploaded. It took two minutes. Here I had the main file, right? The main file, right? Before I recorded this for the practice. And basically, I go to the control center where either this one or this one is the same one. I'm going to click on render and see how from 0 to 144, how many render points is it going to cost us. Here, just with the percentage, this is going to vary because I'm going to give it render. And while I'm talking, I want you to see how the rendering process has already started. All this in real time. And I want you to see how it is basically already just consuming the render points, which in the end is simply an estimation of how many render points we are going to... Render points we are going to... Well, if it consumes, according to the calculator, approximately 12, 13 render points. Let's not go any further. Where it will be just rendering. And once I rendered it, See how it starts to work the render points that it will simply take 145 renders. And while it is rendering, I will tell you again about March Render Fest, our free event where I am going to show you just what we will be doing. Three classes, three totally free workshops for you to learn how to make realistic renders, 
realistic animations, but above all, we will give you the keys to make the render a business of more than a thousand dollars a month, at least even starting from scratch basically, there are very few days left registered because there are limited spaces and while I am saying this again in full screen, I want you to see basically how I start to release the renders that basically this will take about half an hour I estimate. In my 3ds Max from my computer, it would take me half an hour to get 10 renders. Here half an hour is to get all the renders that are 145. Basically I want you to... Basically I want you to see how little by little it is rendering. That also depends a lot on the queue that there is. Well if in the cloud, sincerely this is something too fast. That now I'm going to show you how long it took with the addition. I just want you to see how I sent it to render at about 8, 6 o'clock if I remember correctly. Approximately if I remember well here is basically the clock where basically 6 minutes, clock where basically 6 minutes. We are at, we are already at 93%, 135 renders in a super, super super fast. I want you to see how practically. If I click on this one for example, and I go to clicking on the next image, practically, well then the animation will be made just like the one, just like the one on our page. And it practically finished in less than 10 minutes which is impressive. I simply show you this very useful tool in case you animate in SketchUp, 3ds Max and others. Well also something very important before isn't it, which is to see how much it was going to cost us according to the Rebus Farm calculator, because for example here it gave us an approximate of 13 euros, and here basically render complete, cost us about 19.55 euros, dollars if you want to put it that way where the calculator is not going to be 100% correct, but it is a fairly good approximation with, well, the quality and the time which is really something brutal. I remind you that we have the March Render Fest event. Believe me, you won't forget it, just sign up for it because it's not too far away and we'll see you in another video.